When our community lost George Del Rio last year, so many of us struggled to find the right words. Most could not say anything at all. But still they stood, some for hours, heavy hearted to honor a hero. They felt numb from the cold and from the emptiness in their hearts. Knowing the man who was so dedicated to making our community a safe place went to work that day and never came home. Nobody knew George better than his wife of more than 30 years. Can you tell me how you and George met, Kathy? <laughs> Working at Elder Beerman's of all places. Oh, yeah, really? That was at Beerman's downtown Dayton store in the mid-1980s. Kathy worked in the children's department. George was a college grad working in men's clothing. What did you see in George, Kathy? Potential. <laughs> <laughs> and how about George? He saw a feisty woman who went down. <laughs> he liked that. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> That's what he saw. In 1987, they married, and a year later or so, George took an exam to see if he had what it took to become a Dayton police officer. It was his passion, it was what he loved to do. What he loved even more than his job was his wife and his five daughters. He was just a family man, but he was strict. And like I said, I respected it. And I feel like that helped mold. But hated it at the same time. at the same time. time. <laughs> but it helped mold us to be who we are today. When dad was not working, he always found time for everything from family vacations to taking the girls to the shooting range to teach them how to safely handle a gun. After shooting, After shooting mm -hmm. we would uh, go to McIntosh and eat wing, wings or pizza. Never did Erica and her sisters take for granted their time with George. Here in sleepy little downtown Belbrook. George had a thing for collecting. He was passionate about comic books and music. He was into like R&B and oldies, like the doo-wops. Kathy and George's favorite song, Jorge Santana's I Love the Way. I love the way you make me love you. Sing it? I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, the way. Trust me, you don't, you don't want, want either of us to sing it. No. <laughs> Along with being a good officer, George was bilingual a combination the Drug Enforcement Agency needed in its day-to-day -day battle with drugs. Federal agents welcomed in George, considered George one of the best in what was a very dangerous fight. We always thought he'd come back every time. But then came that Monday night, November 4th. It was a little after eight o'clock. Someone came to the door. I was at home. Okay. Uh, I got a call from my sister. She uh, called uh, and said that um, something happened to Dad. He's in the hospital. The next thing the Del Rio family knew, they were in the hospital lobby, and it was filled with people. No one was really telling us what was happening and what was going on. But then the family got pulled into a room by themselves. That's when they um, told us what had happened and what's probably going to happen. That but it was just hard to hear that um, your father wasn't gonna make it. So it was just, it was just hard. <sighs> Such a close-knit family, a bond so strong, the love of Kathy's life, and there was nothing anyone could do. My dad did everything for my mom, like everything. He was her best friend, they did everything together. For years, George had been Kathy's eyes. He helped guide her after she lost her sight. The memories from that night, still so vivid, so painful. You miss hearing that, his voice. Like, sure. all you want is that, that laughter. You want to hear that laugh one more time. You want to hear him say, I love you one more time. You want to feel that hug one more time. Like, it's just those little things that you just miss and you want back but my tears are my tears. Yeah, every day's a bad day. What, what encourages you to, to keep going?
I want to, I, I definitely want to see justice for, for, for what has happened. And that, that's one of the main things that helps, that keeps me going. And so do the nine kids and grandkids. As for the men investigators arrested and charged with George's murder. No, I definitely have not forgiven them. That, that's, no. <laughs> Are you still angry? Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still pretty upset about that. So it just, it just breaks my heart that it had to happen. So it just makes me sad. I'm not mad. I'm just sad. George always taught his family to stay together, no matter what. And to be honest, that is what has helped the Del Rio family get through some of their darkest days. And what has offered comfort and peace is knowing George lives on in others because he was an organ donor. One of his kidneys helped save a woman's life. And she was just very thankful in the letter. And that made me feel really good knowing that my dad was still helping someone. Like he's still, even after his life, he's still helping somebody. And they're very grateful and thankful for that. And I'm just happy that he was still able to save someone's someone lives. Else, someone else's, else's life. life. So that really felt good when we read that letter. You know, time has a way of passing us by. So many things we want to do, but some we never seem to get to. But not George. Because he got what he wanted, but it's not what we wanted. And it's hard for us to accept that. And he, he, he died doing what he loved to do. It's been a year since family and friends said goodbye. Just too bad more of us never got to say hello. But let us not forget, George lived life, loved life, until the very end.